make this quick. <laughs> um, this race, to me, is very personal. I think you all know that. You've heard me say that many times. It's not personal just because I live here, and not just because it's my dwelling, and because I have neighbors and family in CD5. It's personal to me because of the perspective that people have about Minnesota. The perspective that people have about CD5. When people hear D plus 26, D plus 29, oh, you can't win. You know you can't win. It's not possible. There's no way that can be done. There's a perspective of CD5 in Minnesota outside of our existing state. I'm going to give you an example. I actually had someone um, when I was in Las Vegas for the RJC who said, no offense, but do you guys actually have nice restaurants in Minnesota to eat at? Okay. So it, this is the perspective. Because of what our media is choosing to report out of our state, they believe that we're just a bunch of racists, that it's terrible to be a person of color in our state, and that the, the system is against those type of people, and there's no way to overcome. And that it's definitely not possible to be conservative and be a man. That's why I'm in it. The problem I have with that is winning and losing can become a really, really bad habit. When you've won only two or lost 25 out of 27 races, you can kind of get a perspective that it's not possible. And so if you think it's not possible, then you don't try. And if you don't try, that means you give up. And if you can give up, then you can just kind of get to make excuses. Well, you know, we'll just not pay attention to CD5, but we'll win in all the rural areas. You know what, CD5 is not possible, but maybe they can increase just a little bit to help somebody else's race. Well, she can't go on a poll, so somebody should just run. So just throw somebody in there. She can't win. But, you know, it's really great for Minnesota Optics to have someone challenge Ilhan Omar. And so these are the perspectives. But I'm telling you that winning can become a habit. Woo. And so Woo. we have to change our mindset. We have to change the way we think. I'm not up here to be a cheerleader. I'm just telling you why I entered this race. Number one, these kind of people, this tyrannical, progressive agenda cannot go on. It will wreck us. It will wreck our community. It will wreck right. our constitutional republic. Number two. These people cannot go unopposed. And I'm in this race because it absolutely is possible. If we're here, then we know that it is possible, and that's why I run. And so I like to think about what I can do. I like to think about what can be done. And I want to rewrite our script. I want us to be in charge of the narrative that comes out of this state. Winners in Minnesota, red in Minnesota, conservative in Minnesota. Listen, liberals aren't winning either. If you're paying more at the gas pump, you're not winning. If inflation is infecting your pocketbook, then you're not winning. If you're receiving less in your paycheck because of this insane inflation, then you're not winning. So I have a challenge, and everyone knows what my challenge is. Everyone tells me, I know, I know the demographics, I have all the breakdowns, I actually know how many people voted per precinct, I know all that. My challenge is this. Not only do I have to change the perspective of liberals, right? I have to get black people to stop voting Democrat or liberals or, or it operating in a monolith that's clearly detrimental to the community. I have to get liberal Jewish people to stop funneling money into the black community to buy that vote or be moved by progressive liberal um, agendas and things like that. I have to get conservatives to actually believe, to get your neck out and to believe. So what is, happens when you believe? When you believe, when you're in expectation, you stick your neck out an expectation that something's going to happen. And I think that come next November, we need to do it very differently. We need to get our necks out in expectations. Because when people show up in the streets and the doors raising money, 
and talking to other people with their necks out and they fill that atmosphere with expectation, everything changes. Everything absolutely changes in the atmosphere of people who arrive with an expectation. So I fully expect to win. I've already claimed it.